What's going on, Minecraft fans? My name's Luke the Notable. Welcome to 100 Games of Minecraft Build Battles. If you've never played Build Battles before, I'll give you a quick rundown. It's very simple. In every game of Build Battles, you and other players are tasked with building something with a particular theme. This time, it was hamburger. You've got five minutes to build the best hamburger, or whatever, you can. At the end, everyone votes on everyone else's, and it's very serious. And when the voting's over, a winner is crowned. That's it. Let's get in to game number one. So here we are, game one, and this time the theme is swing. That's pretty straightforward, I guess. Like most game ones of all of my hundred series, I was very inexperienced. And after two whole minutes, I've made some grass. Let's go. I put in a basic swing shape with prismarine, cause I panicked. You and I both know this looks terrible. You gotta give me credit. In five minutes in my first game, I built a swing, in the most basic sense of the word. I came in dead last, but this was my competition. Good job. That's beautiful. All right. My first couple games, I'm telling you right now, my builds are pretty awful. Do not cringe at me. So I'll just go over how you win at build battles, because there's a basic formula that works every single game. Step one, you've got to follow the theme if you want good votes. This time the theme was flower, I made a flower. Check. Step two, you've got to show off some sort of skill. Your build can't look sloppy, it can't look too boxy, it has to impress. And I'm telling you, your build will never win unless it has this third element. It needs creativity. It's got to have something that makes it different from all the other builds. I thought I did pretty well this time. The theme was flower, so I made one of my favorite flowers in the game, and even put a little bee there. Unfortunately, during the voting phase, mine was first, and it's never good to go first. I just always notice my builds do better when they follow bad ones. Sorry, whoever made this. Didn't matter anyway, because there was no way I was beating this flower. Absolutely magnificent. Game three, I've got five minutes to make a pie, and I've got no idea what I'm gonna do. One element I liked in this one is I put campfires underneath the wool to make it look like the pie was steaming. That's nice. But, in the end, you can tell it just didn't look right. That's not a winning build. Better than this guy, no offense, all art is beautiful. Oh man, waterfall. It's gonna be bad. Please make fun of me for this appalling display. I truly deserve it. At this point, I knew I wasn't gonna win, but I was hoping I wouldn't be last. It's human nature to feel good when someone does worse than you. Now the theme was paint, and I had what I thought was a very creative idea. You only have five minutes in build battles, so you pretty much have to go with whatever pops in your head at the start. Good or bad. I built a little room, kind of made it look like a studio apartment. You know, like a starving artist's apartment. I know, it's not a very good idea. It's also important to know, if you have to label what your build is, you have lost. Guys, look, it's an artist's apartment. How true to the theme, skillfully built and creative. I wasn't dead last. Some guy made a tree. Wasn't recording for my build game six. The theme was caterpillar, and this guy made a tree, so my odds were pretty good. This was mine, the pretty famished caterpillar. Do you like it? Well, apparently everyone in the lobby liked it because it rained diamonds. I think that's a good sign. Yep, that got me the win. Want to thank my two-year-old for inspiring me with this one. No surprise, though, it checks all the boxes. Boxes, fits the theme, is skillfully done, and is somewhat creative. The theme was magic game seven. It'll be magic if I win. I tried my best to make a wand shooting a spell. Oh, I should have kept it wood. The obsidian looks so much worse. <laughs> no way I'm winning against that one. Flying pig was the theme for game eight, and I had an idea that I thought might win. Can you tell what it is? I'll give you a second. It's a pig in a rocket ship. But the fact that I have to explain that to you kind of shows that it's not great. Yeah, this is one of those ones that looked a lot better in my head. This guy won. For the record, I liked mine better. Game nine was slime, and I've got an idea that might shine. I was trying to make a humanoid slime that was wearing diamond armor. It could work. I kind of figured everyone else would make a normal slime, and mine would stand out. But probably should cover up his armor's poop hole. I'm proud of this one. It's cute. Maybe could be a little more detailed, but it's definitely funny. Competition was pretty bad too. This guy just spawned a slime. No, no, this one here should win. Look at that beautiful construction. I didn't win. This slime did. But you know what? It deserves it. The theme for game 10 was moon, and I'm gonna try to make a moon man. It's pretty much the same style as the slime guy, but the other contestants don't know I just built that. Yeah, it's coming along well. Oh, probably should delete that. It's a little sus. Personally, I think I did a wonderful job. Even if I don't win, I'm proud. This one. It looks like a banana. I was upset. Bacon was the theme, game 11, and I immediately got an idea. What is bacon? It's delicious. But that's because it's dead pig. Pig's done with almost three minutes to spare. Do you know what I'm doing? If you happen to say constructing a guillotine, you've definitely watched this video before. I haven't had time to install a kill button. Redstone doesn't work in build battles, but I wired it up anyway. Last thing I did was a curly tail. Let's just hope the judges like it. I didn't go first, and a lot of other people just made bacon. You may be different, but pixel art? 
doesn't impress me. Hey, this guy had a similar thought to me. He also made a pig, just not well. And mine was right after. That's gonna be good. Oh, it wasn't just good. This time, it rained diamonds. Thank you, thank you. I'd like to thank all of my years not being a vegan. Igloo's the theme, game 12, and I'm telling you right now, I went way too big. Sure, I was ambitious, but even if I was able to pull off an igloo of this size, it's all the same block. There's nothing impressive about that. With literally no time to spare, I made a giant igloo with a giant head inside. And not surprisingly, I didn't win. Theme was hamburger game 13, so I went with my good old strat of crude comedy. Made a cow and put him in a guillotine, because the other players don't know I just built this. Looking back, I'm glad I didn't win, but you know, something about that winning hamburger don't look right. Making a teddy bear game 14, and I think I went too big again. That's an issue I've got to handle. Yeah, at a certain point, I just had to cut my losses and make a head. It was just too large. It looks a little fazberry, and he's missing an arm. Oh! Oh, that's... That's worse, though. This looks like someone killed a teddy bear, and this is the chalk outline. I actually came in second to this one. A lot better than I thought I'd do. Game 15 was sushi, so you gotta know I'm making a fish and then depicting it being slayed. I spent a lot of time on the fish, probably too much time, but you know what? It came out looking nice. I built a knife coming out of it. You get the idea. These were my competitors. Yes. Oh yes, I definitely see the sushi here. Yeah, that looks like sushi. That was barfed up six hours later. I know I said I told you how to win earlier, but honestly the best way seems to be killing stuff. Flying pig again, and you know what? I'm confident in my design. It was good. This time I made the rocket much bigger and spawned a pig inside. I think it's kind of cute. Wilbur did not return to Earth on his brave mission. Rest in peace. Ah, oh, mine went first. No way I'm winning. Yeah, I came in fifth, and I still think mine deserves way better. Got the hamburger theme again, and this time decided to be boring and make a hamburger. Part of me wishes I just made the cow guillotine again. I think that would have gone better. Personally, I liked this one the best. I can really appreciate it, but it didn't win. Game 18, the theme was pool, but I made a hot tub. The more you mess with the theme while staying true to it, the better your build generally does. So if the theme is pool, don't make a tree. But a hot tub, that's fair game. This one just spawned water. Good job, sir. Your, uh, your pool seems to be leaking. Most of the other builds were just kind of uninspired. Big blocks with water in them. Got the win. I deserved it. I mean, look at that hot tub. I'd take a dip. Game 19, the theme was octopus, so I'm gonna make an octopus die. First thing I worked on was the octopus tentacle. That's the theme, it's gotta look good. Then I made a big old butcher knife cutting through it. I think this build would work with the sushi theme too. It looked great and I had about a minute left, so I tried to make an octopus head. 100%, I went wrong doing that. When you look at both sides, you can tell there's a dip in quality. And my competition was good. I mean, look at that build, it's like the Kraken. Game 20, I've gotta make a firework, but didn't have any insane ideas. Ideas. So I just tried to make a pixel perfect Minecraft firework. It's not very creative, but if it's done well, it could win. I got done sooner than I thought, and I added some comedic flair. Clarence the Creeper was launched into space, never to be seen again. But he wanted it that way. Not bad. Let's see what my enemies have to offer. Eh, okay. Decent, I guess. Doesn't look right. Pixel art gross. Ooh, thick. I think mine's the best. Which one do you think won? I don't agree with that at all, but it's art. Who are we to judge? Had to make an astronaut game 21, and I gotta say, I went way, way too big. I got it done, I just had no time for detail. And details will get you the win. Not bad but very plain. This build won. It's a little simple, but I can see what they were doing here. Now Treehouse was the theme, and I kinda just wanna get this one over with, cause it didn't look very good. With one second to spare, I got the roof done, but even so, it was on two different levels. No one really built anything great. Even the winner wasn't very spectacular. Game 23 was tank, and I was gonna have some fun with this one. The outside wasn't amazing, mostly because I only used two colors. However, you could enter my tank, and I wanna point out, it was the only one where you could do this. And after putting a few war pigs down there, I thought my victory was assured. Entering the tank did not impress the voters, but I'm proud of it. Game 24, I made Bell pixel art because I literally had no other idea. Mine was also voted on first. I didn't really want to win with pixel art. I don't deserve it. This one. I don't really like it. Or get it. What's with the ice? Game 25 was hot air balloon, and honestly, to me, that sounded boring. You're never gonna win if you don't dare to do something interesting. It may not work out, but it's worth the risk. This is a hot air balloon crash. I hope they get it. A regular hot air balloon one. Sometimes being creative is pointless. Game 26 theme was cloud, and I thought I had a good idea. I'm not gonna explain to you what it is, because if I do that, it's certified not good. Do you know? I'll give you a second. No one knew what I made. I came in nearly last. Trying to make an accurate tennis court game 27 might help if I actually played tennis. It looks right. I'm not an expert. Let's see what everyone else did. That's pretty bad. That's four square. Why'd you make a teddy bear? Yeah, that one I kind of like. This one's a little too simple. This one too, there's no lines. Nice shading, it's just small. Eh, that's pixel art. Oh, 
Very good. That's like the best one. Yeah, I kind of figured the big tennis racket would win. I came in third, that's fair. Theme was now fire, and I'm not doing anything crazy, just taking my time with shading. I layered in orange, yellow, and red with tiny bits of blue to make a nice fire. It looked like it had a lot of love, and sometimes that's all you need. Mine was simply the most notable, and I'm showing you all of the contestants to prove it. I won, even though I was missing a block on the side there. Did you notice it? Angel was the theme, game 29, and I decided to do it a little bit differently. I gave the players a choice. Vote legendary and reach nirvana. Vote poop and burn. They voted poop. Never tell the judges what to do. Not sure why campfire and fire are both different categories, but whatever, we got campfire. I built a little morsel of meat on the top of my fire design. I think it looks nice. However, the brown poo fire was victorious. Good job. Teddy bear time, tame turdy one. Yeah, probably should have gone bigger. I'm done and I've got three minutes left. Messed with some colors, made him cross-eyed. That could be good or bad for me. It's better than this guy's teddy bear because this guy's teddy bear is a palm tree. No surprise, the faz bear one. Game 32 was self portrait and I'm gonna do my profile picture. I don't really like pixel art but I didn't have a better idea so this is what I'm going with. I think it's pretty good but I'm also me so I'm very biased. Fantastic self portrait. Really very well done. Time to make a tiger game 33 and you gotta know I'm about to kill it. I wasn't sure I could make a good tiger but I was pretty sure I could make a bad tiger die. First thing I did was a tiger laying on the ground because if I ran out of time at least I'd have that. Then I put a sword in him. Who knows that could work. Really good tiger my man. You, you just blew it out of the park. Uh, did, what it? Not sure what it is but something about that doesn't look right. This giant tiger head won. There. Pretty good. Game 34, the theme was baby. And if you ever play build battles, don't do what I'm about to do. Not sure why, but I didn't feel like making a baby, so I thought I'd do something a little different. I made a long room with a sign that says you if you don't vote legendary, implying that if they don't vote me good for my terrible build, that they are a baby. Don't ever do anything like this. It won't work. You're not funny. Neither am I. I came in dead last, Baby Yoda won, next game. Now the theme is pyramid, and I went wrong by not building a pyramid. I built two pyramids on top of each other, which I thought was a good idea, but now that I look at it, it's kind of lazy. All right, maybe one more pyramid on top, that'll do it. I came in dead last because I didn't build a pyramid. It's also all one block. There's nothing good about that. Game 36, the theme was game. How you like that? Because I'm creative, I decided to make an actual game. This is my jump course. It ain't much, but I didn't want to make it so long that people weren't able to finish it. And I think it turned out pretty fun. Like I thought, many people just made pixel art of different video game characters. I also want to point out mine was the only playable game and it warmed my heart to see people trying it. Big Mario won. But I really didn't deserve eighth. What's that about? Theme was just house game 37. I'm sure I and everyone else will find a way to mess that up. I was going for log cabin and having the intersecting logs took a lot of time. More than I thought. Spent a lot of time on the interior before finishing the exterior. That was dumb. Well, looks like my house is gonna be roofless. Awesome. Look at that house. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful! I think the dirt shack just connected with us. We've all been there. Game 38 was race car, and I kinda just made a car. I mean, it looks fast, but not really a race car. Yeah, see, a race car won. I did good though, I'm proud. Game 39 was igloo, mine was bad, that is all. And I only have the winning footage for game 40. It was slime, and this guy killed us all. Game 41 was thrown, a win or lose, I'm gonna have fun with this one. I spent a lot of time tearing down what I had already built, which is not a good strategy in build battles. You gotta find an idea and stick with it. Everyone else's was much better, but I really like that theme. It was fun. Game 42, the theme was pyramid, and I went way, way, way too big. Too many blocks, too much detail, and just not enough time. It was all bumpy and had a really big hole, just like your mom. I'm gonna give you all a second to recover from that one while I build a pogo stick. I'm trying to put a guy on there too, because I figured a lot of people would just do the stick and I'll beat them. I finished with three seconds left, and I'm really happy with how that turned out. I lost to a regular pogo stick. I mean, it's nice and all, but... There's no person. I'm so sorry, but the footage is super laggy for game 44. Theme spaceship came in second. Let's go to the next one. This hurts my eyes. Got some smooth footage of me building a shaded sun. After putting on his little smirk, I already loved him, but he needs some solar flares. I used every second available to make this thing awesome, and I definitely did. The builds that go down to the last second are either really good or really bad. Game 46, I'm making a bird. I'm trying to do a Minecraft parrot very technically. I wasn't able to think of a more creative idea, but if I I can get a pixel perfect parrot, I'll get good votes. It's solid, no creative elements. 
but it could still win. It was close, but I came in second to this absolutely gigantic eyeless bird. I don't agree. Wasn't recording for the build, but made a castle. I'll be honest, I don't really like it. Somehow, I came in second. Sometimes the voting can be weird. Campfire again, game 48. I'm not sure how many times I'm gonna have to make a fire in this video, but it's getting old already. I didn't really change anything from how I normally do it. Just did good shading. Fire's one of those themes where everyone's kind of looks the same. I got 12. I don't think I deserved that. Game 49 was drill, and I have zero idea what to do. Oh yeah, I think we can all agree that that looks terrible. What gets me about the winner here is that it's mostly just a person. The drill is like five blocks. A bucket though, I can make a bucket. The plan was to trim it out as good as I could using many, many, many different blocks. I was even able to get a hand holding the bucket, though I'm not sure if this adds or takes away from it. Standard? It looks more like a cup. No, no. Simple, small, and leaking. Ew, pixel art. Same, that one's not bad. That one's pretty good. Quite a lot of detail. I came in fifth place. I have no idea how four of those buckets were ahead of me. Game 51, the theme was bee, so I wanted to try my strat of putting a bee in diamond armor. It ain't perfect. A little uncanny even, but you know, it's probably the most creative. Oh, I shouldn't have put the helmet on, that just made it look bad. A very technical B1, I can't deny it looks good. Game 52, the theme is mouse, and you gotta know that I'm gonna kill it. I decided not to kill it, instead alluded to its imminent demise. Ah, uh, got voted on first. And I worked so hard! I lost by one point, and I can't help but think that if I didn't go first, I would have won. I wasn't recording for the building of game 53. Here's my castle. I spent most of my time on the lava moat. The inside suffered because of it. I'm not gonna win. Wow, two in a row where I didn't record the building. Here's my snake. Do you like it? Surprisingly, saw seven or so swell serpents. This snake won. And I don't want to be rude here, but it didn't deserve it. Ugh. Three in a row, I have not recorded the building process. Here is my baby. I didn't see a single other one that impressed me. Why is he purple? Does he have a disease? Oh, that's a baby car. Yep, I'm losing. As soon as I saw it, I knew it would win. But I came in second, I'll take it. Hey, look at me, recording me building something. I'm actually doing my job. Theme was cloud. I made a cloud. That's kind of the point. It came out pretty good. I think this is going to depend on the other players. Most of the others were pretty boring. Just clouds. And that won't get you the win. However, it will get me the win. And I want to say my two-year-old inspired this one too. Game 57 was campsite, and I really had no idea how to make it magnificent. I did what I thought everyone else was going to do. Some tents, villagers, trees, normal campsite stuff. And just as I thought, everyone's campsite looked the same. It was a 12-way tie for first. The winner looked like everyone else's. I don't really like that theme. Game 50. I've got to make a camera, and I went with a video camera. It had a leather strap, working viewfinder, and a scene preview. Though, from the front, it looked a little funky. I came in nearly last, which I do not think I deserve. Wasn't recording for the building of game 59, but I took the time to get the replay footage. Didn't know I could do that until now. The theme was bottle, so I made a ship in a bottle. Here's a good tip though. I made the ship first, so the scale was right. If I made the bottle first, it could have been way off, but in the end, it looked perfect. Everyone else just made bottles. Not bad, but not interesting. Got the win for my ship in a bottle. I'm telling you, it's all about creativity. It really is. So when the theme cave came up, I wanted to be really creative. I made an insanely large cave with a cave monster inside. I guarantee no one else is doing that. But it was insanely large. Too large even. That's not a very good monster. Everyone lost to a pile of dirt. That's definitely not a cave. So I wasn't recording for the building of this one, but the theme was chicken. How do you like me? Regardless of what you think, it could be worse. Is his head backwards? Who made this? Got that win pretty easily, but I mean, look at that. You can't deny it's a great build. All right, here we go, cave again. We're gonna improve on my previous design. To help with my time management, I decided to build the monster first and put the cave around him. It still took almost all of my time to get this set up, but you can't say I wasn't creative. The other caves were standard. I had hopes that I would win. Like this one, it's so simple and small. Who would ever vote for that to win? Apparently, the whole lobby would vote for that to win. Whatever, next game where the theme is boot. I just tried to make some nice looking shoes that idiots would pay $700 for. Yeah, everyone pretty much had the same idea as me, just make a shoe, it's anyone's game. I lost to Spongebob's shoe, and I'm okay with that. Wasn't recording for the building, I really gotta stop doing that, but the theme was Pyramid, here's mine. And mine got voted on first, awesome. I'm going to show you all of the other pyramids, because I will tell you right now that mine was the best, and deserved to win. But however, it did not. I will use this deep emotional pain to make better art. Camera was the theme, and mine was the best. It looked like a camera, sure, but it also showed what it was taking a picture of. And if you looked through the little viewfinder, you could even see the sheep in the picture. That's nice. Unfortunately, mine was voted on first, so you know it's not gonna win. The other builds were simple, used maybe one of the elements that I employed. However, a pixel art one. Society just doesn't get me. Theme was I, game 66, and I decided to make a big floating eyeball. When I made 
the iris. The scale was off, but I had time to fix it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Even put the little red bit in the back. I enjoyed this build the best, but even that didn't win. The winner was decent. I'll say the iris is a little uninspired. Looks like we're still doing anatomy game 67, and today it's a heart. I knew for a fact everyone was just gonna make a heart, but mine will be anatomical. I had so much time, I was able to put in some shading blocks to really make that heart pop. Just as I thought, everyone else in the lobby just made Valentine's hearts. Remember, it took this player five minutes to build that. All right, that one's pretty good. I can appreciate some villager love. A googly-eyed heart with wings won. I don't even know anymore. Game 68, the theme was lunchbox, and similar to my bottle strategy, I'm going to make the contents first. I made a burger and a juice box, which is technically a lunch, not a very healthy one. Then I made the rest of the lunchbox around it, and it wasn't even that detailed, but the scale was spot on. Yeah, and it really showed in the voting. Some boxes, the food didn't look right. Some boxes, there was no food at all. But one box was just right. Yeah. I won. Game 69, the theme was spring, the season of new life and mating. Perfect. I might be biting off more than I can chew, but I'm trying to make two bunnies doing what bunnies do. Listen, chill out there, just kissing. Don't take my ads away. I had virtually no time left because it was a big project, but I got it done and that looks nice. Aw, oh, good job, dude. You spawned flowers on the ground. Wow, this guy made trees. <laughs> that is definitely fall, not spring. In five minutes, he spawned three trees and placed two types of flowers. Nice. Bunny Love smashed the competition and that would be two wins in a row on game 69. I was happy. Now the theme was dinosaur, and the thought of three wins in a row was driving me to greatness. Just from the size of the feet, it was already a huge build, so I had to work fast. It took me about three minutes to get the basic shape done, but the most important part is definitely the head. In this video, I've gotten a lot of practice with monster heads though, so it formed quickly. I was fast, had a whole minute at the end for trim work to make this guy really pop. You know, when I first started this video, if you told me that I would build something like that in five minutes? I wouldn't believe you. Competition was tragic. This guy didn't have enough time. Headless dinosaur ain't gonna cut it. Hey, this one might not be the most detailed, but at least it's got a head. Oh, the Cyclopsosaur, my favorite. I had double the points of everyone else. Won that game easily. And like I said earlier, I'm very proud of myself. I never could imagine that I'd build anything this great, and especially in only five minutes. Gonna build a bridge, game 71. I like this theme because the possibilities are endless. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's art. The possibilities are always endless. I barely got this thing done, but at the end of the five minutes, it was complete. Like pretty much all of these Build Battles games, there were some that were really good, some that were really bad, and some that weren't related to bridges at all. Dice is now the theme, and I'm just gonna make some big ones. One of the dice I wanted to put on its side so it looked like it was rolling. It's ambitious, but it could look great. Got it all done with no time left. Let's see if the judges appreciate it. Wow, that's really good dice. Whoever made this is a master. I came in second to someone who made three dice, and I cried after. Footage for game 73 is really laggy, I'm not sure why, but the theme was night. I thought mine was pretty good. Scale was nice. Maybe could use more color. That's about all the footage there is. Everything else is too choppy. Had to make a hammer, game 74, and spent far too much time on the thing that the hammer would be hammering. Probably should have made a full guy here, but had to settle for a disembodied arm. Then I had about two minutes to spare and basically did nothing with them. I was on par with the competition, except for the guy that made Thor's hammer. That's a good one. Now I'm spawning a big scary mouse, game 75. No, it's not a mouse. It's a big angry rat. Hope that doesn't affect the judging. Mine went first, and Everyone thought it was bad. Now, put it next to this, and it's a masterpiece. Oh, I get it. It's a mouse, like a computer mouse. Despite my build going first, I still came in second. And to me, that's a win. Theme was beard and wasn't recording. Here's my build, do you like it? This one looks like he's vomiting black ooze. This one I like a lot. This one's silly, but it's technically pixel art. Wow, I did not expect to win. There were a lot of good ones in there. But you know what? I'm still proud. Theme was Bunny Game 77, and I seemed to do well making them monstrous. The eyes came out a little funky, but it could do well if everyone else does bad. Went first in the voting, though. There goes all my dreams. Sir, Ow. did you just make bunny poo? Winner deserved it. That's a good bunny. Them ears are floppy. Archer's now the theme, and I made a diagonal Robin Hood. Though I realized way too late that he should probably have a bow if this is the Archer theme, and I made a bad arrow. That could have been really good but it's just not. To add insult to injury, I was also voted on first. This one, it kind of looks like he took an arrow in the face. Now the theme is dolphin, and I'm not gonna kill it, because I don't think people would like that. I think that's a pretty nice dolphin, and I finished him with quite some time left, so I even gave him a little orange fishy friend. I think it adds to the build this time. <laughs> no, no. I gotta say, I really don't agree here, and I almost never do, 
but this time especially. Building a sand castle with no clear plan. I've done bad on castle every single time. This was the winner. Looked like everyone else's. Mine was bad and I got third place. All right, now I'm making popcorn. I have a feeling this is gonna go really good or really bad. I spent a lot of time on the bucket because I had no idea what to do for the popcorn. I just used a bunch of different popcorny blocks. Let's see what everyone else did. The other builds were fine, I guess. Some were a little monotone, but all shared the common theme. Pixel art one, you know how I feel about that. Game 82, the theme was treasure. I made a treasure chest. It's well made, but probably won't win. Personally, I liked this mimic, even if it was a little small. This one, buried treasure. It's really good. Theme was Mars, and I'm making a Martian. I've done this before. I made a moon man about 70 games ago, and I think I've improved on my design a bit. Mine was voted on first, and he let them know how he felt. I lost by five points to a sandstone ball. Sometimes I hate this game. Still more space themes. This time it's Comet. I got a Comet done a lot faster than I thought, and in the end, it turned out pretty nice. That gave me enough time to make Earth. I'm not a huge fan of it in the ground like that, but it looks okay. Ah, uh, uh, whatever. Game 85 theme was piano, and after putting down a boring piano, I decided not to be boring. It's a guy playing a guitar. That's a lot more interesting. Oh, would you look at that? A boring piano one. Self-portrait game 86, and I'm just gonna make an Alex head. I don't think it'll win, but my other idea didn't either. I thought I did a nice job. No one else did. I'm kind of sick of making castles, and I know sandcastle is a different theme, but I made a sandcastle. It wasn't terrible. Maybe a little small, maybe a little simple, but I'll tell you, my heart just wasn't in it. The castle that won wasn't even finished. I don't know anymore. Theme was tent game 88, and I decided to make a teepee. The only problem was, it didn't look very good. That looks nothing like a teepee. The winner was quite beautiful, I must say. Theme came up island game 89, and I probably should have thought of something better than a tropical island, because I'm telling you, everyone made one. I thought I might spice it up a bit by adding a big SOS sign, but it obviously was too big. I fixed it, but the scale's off. I also was not the only one to do SOS. This mini end island one, it's a good build, checks every box. Game 90, the theme was fire, and instead of making a campfire like everyone else was going to do, I was going to make a house fire. Like I've said, one of the best ways to stand out and build battles is stretch that theme. Finished product looks nice, maybe a little simple, but I think it'll do good. Like I said, everyone else made campfires. And when you vote on 10 different campfires, they all start to sort of look the same. I think this is supposed to be a fire truck. Good idea, I guess. Hey, look at that. I guess everyone here likes a little bit of arson. Like last game, I'm getting creative. The theme was rainbow and I'm making a unicorn. And not just any unicorn, a unicorn barfing a rainbow. My downfall here was noticing far too late that my unicorn doesn't have a horn. Hopefully the judges don't notice. Everyone else just made rainbows. They all looked exactly like this one. And a rainbow one. I mean, it's nice. Good job, I guess. Now I gotta make a volcano, and as you can see, from the very beginning, I was struggling. The lava was really messing with me, and I used way too much cobblestone. You gotta break up the blocks. It is a volcano, just not a good one. This one, good job, beautiful. Theme was cheese, game 93, and this is one of those games where I just tried to do too much. I wanted to construct a fancy plate of wine and cheese, and honestly, I should have just stopped right there. I tried to put a fork in the cheese, and it just didn't look right. The scale was all off. Yeah, I think this build would have been way better if I just got rid of that fork. Mouse smelling stinky cheese one. Good build. Now umbrella's the theme and I instantly got a good idea. Making just an umbrella would be very lame, so I'm gonna make a guy holding an umbrella for his lady. I spent four of the five minutes making the two people because it's the only thing in my build that'll stand out. It came out great, but it was getting voted on first. This is a tragedy. Hey, and wouldn't you know, my victory was robbed by a basic umbrella. Wasn't recording game 95 until there was three seconds left. The theme was painting. I made a person doing a self-portrait with blue hair for extra flair. Nothing was nearly as good. This guy just wrote Among Us on a sign. I won. My build was the most notable. Game 96, the theme was arcade, and I think you can tell that this is already way too big. It was also kind of a mistake using black concrete. It was hard to see where all my imperfections were. I'm not sure how, but I got it all done in five minutes. The finished product looked pretty nice, though there was a hole in the side. I came in third. I thought I deserved better, but I almost always do. Wasn't recording for the building of this solar system, but mine is awesome. I've got every planet and a sunglasses sun. I do regret to say that I had to leave out Pluto. I didn't have enough room. Want to point out, the theme was solar system. No one but me made the solar system. A lot of people made Earth. A lot of people made some of the planets. But a full solar system, only me. I lost. That's what I get for leaving out Pluto. But this guy did too. I don't understand. Game 98, the theme was panda. That should be simple enough. There was a bit of an issue though. Pandas are multiple colors. And after two minutes, I barely had legs. All right, I got the body done. And now I have a minute to do the most important part, the head. I got close, but didn't finish. It's a one-eyed panda. 
Maybe they'll think it's supposed to be that way. I came in dead last, and I didn't have to make it so big, this little cute thing won. Game 99 was sushi, and look at me, actually trying to make some sushi. Are you proud? Probably would have done better if I made a fish and put a knife in it, but I figured I'd give it a try. Here's the thing, I don't eat a lot of sushi. Is this even good? I don't know. Doesn't look good. Judges didn't think so either. Oh well, I tried. And that's kind of what art's all about. The theme for game 100 was pencil, and I knew exactly what I was going to do. I'm thanking you for watching the video in the video with my build. I don't even care if I lose. Listen, don't worry, I stuck to the theme, there's a pencil in it. Best part though is someone noticed me before the voting began. I then used my internet clout to get the whole lobby to vote me good. Hey, look at that, I won. Yay for fame. Really, thank you all for watching. I had a lot of fun making this video. I really enjoyed my time playing build battles. The creativity element was fantastic, and I think it made a good video too. Please, if you are not subscribed and you liked this video, make sure you subscribe right now. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. Stay notable. Bye-bye.